Hey guys, here's a video for do-it-yourself uh, calcium reactor. Uh, this is going to be similar to the replica of the GO624, uh, 400 gallons. Now, um, there are a couple parts actually. Uh, I purchased all my stuff from Tap Plat. A great service, very quick. You can start off with a half inch base is what I did here. This base is roughly for the dimensions that I need for myself. Uh, it's 14 inches by 8 and a quarter. Now this is a half inch acrylic piece. Now this is for the base. Obviously you can't lift it up right now. Um, but so we have that. Uh, sorry, the, the diameter of the tube is going to be uh, 6 inches with a quarter inch thickness. So 6 inch diameter roughly will fit right along here. Um, at the back there is going to be uh, a Pan World uh, 30X I believe for the pump. So um, you have your three, four main pieces that you need to buy. Obviously the tube depending on what size you want to get. Diameter of the radius. Your base is what you see there. You're going to need a top, uh, the first top piece for the top of the tube and then the second. Now this is this how be the part where everything's gonna get screwed onto. So for example, the way I'm gonna have it is this is gonna seal up. Now both of these pieces are half inch thick. Reason why I went with half inch thick is um, I'm not too much of a fan for things being leaking all over the place and screws being unthreaded. So the way I did it is half inch thick. As you can see, it is going to sit on top just like that. There you go. Hopefully I'm going to have a, a O-ring inside of somehow inside of this piece where I'm going to have to seal it in so water doesn't leak out. So there you go. One clear, one orange piece. Just decided to do something a little bit fancy here. Now for inside the tube, what I'm doing here is this is what the gravel is going to sit on. If you reverse it, obviously it's, it's being dried right now. Uh, one quick uh, advice I want to offer you guys is um, when you are cutting or sanding out pieces such as this, now my cuts are not 100% straight. reason why is I don't have the proper tools at home. But um, overall, you do see the shine and the gloss on it. Now the the way I got that done was um, a little propane propane tank. So you adjust the flame so it's one inch from the nozzle up, and then you just kind of gradually play along with it and uh, just kind of burn the burn the plastic. You're kind of melting it to have a uniform side to it. I mean, it does leave a much more professional finishing than just having your regular sanded side. Now this year was two quarter inch pieces. Reason why with two quarter inch was uh, for ten dollars I got a nine inch by nine inch piece. Now the diameter on this is roughly about nine, eight, eight and a three and three quarters. It's a full diameter on this. Now the reason why with two pieces is because this half inch quarter half inch piece here cost twenty one dollars. Two of these cost me ten dollars. So decided to experiment. Thank God it went okay. Um, from Tap Plastics, you can also buy cement. It's an acrylic cement. Very easy. Hey guys, uh, I believe this is day three into the project of the calcium reactor. So I am roughly ninety-nine point eight percent done. All that's left over now is adding the push valve to one of the inlets I got on the pipe I gotta find out exactly where I want the CO2 gas to be released into the the reaction chamber so uh, everything else is done I, ha I do have the outlet which is right at the top again clear base with the o-ring center on the inside uh, the screws I just I left out for now and a bulk uh, a bulkhead in the center all the way going down there's a T-bracket, one goes in, goes out, and then back into the reactor there. 
I ignore that bio pellets that are inside of it. I just left it in so my dog doesn't take it. So uh, roughly the reactor is running uh, about 29.5 inches high. The base is set at 8.75 width. Length is 14 inches on it. I am running a Pan World XP30 on it. The whole pipe is all three quarters of an inch. Now I did leave a little different. Uh, um, I left a little different intake for this reactor. I didn't want it just like any other reactor where you have to have a pump here, another pump in the tank. I'm trying to eliminate the pump purposes all, all on all of them. Now with this T bracket, the way I have it here, the the reactor is actually going to be sitting right beside of the tank. I have a half inch inlet here, a push connector, half inch to half inch. So I'm going to use, be using a half inch tubing on this. Now what's going to happen here is there's going to be a tube sitting inside the tank, roughly about three millil three inches from the top of the surface of the water, and that's going to be siphoning down gravity fed, and the pump is going to actually going to intake it in, and then it's going to run it through the other side at the bottom, running it up and the loop again. I'm going to experiment see how this goes. Hopefully it goes well. Just trying to eliminate as much as possible for products and having extra piping and uh, pumps that uh, draw more heat to the tank. So hopefully this design does work. I'm going to water test it very soon. Everything is leak proof already. I did test it. PVC piping, acrylic on the top, six inch diameter tube I did go fairly large wanted to build a project one time and control how much calcium needs to be added in the tank through the media ounce of it not much start off very slow oh, by the way here are all the screws uh, the way I did these screws is there you go you got a washer at the bottom and I have a washer at the top and that's what's gonna happen here is seal it from the top and the bottom and close it shut if you don't have the tools at home talk to your local acrylic store or hardware store sometimes for a small fee they do cut it for you. Now all this was done at home with a jigsaw. That is possible. I did have a router but I uh, don't have a table router which makes it very difficult to cut. So I kind of just went with a jigsaw. Propane torched the edge after sanding it three different levels from a 120 grid, 180 grid and a 1200 grid. There are some minor cuts that you could see in there but nothing nothing too drastic tube again was all glued with uh, acrylic 4 there are some little bubbles there that's to uh, just a couple rough patches of it's not worried too much I did kinda see the two times water tested once again no had no leakage running around the pump it's giving you a 360 degree angle on it. Let's twist it out. A word of advice, whoever uses acrylic glue, just be uh, be cautious about where you work. Have paper beneath it. Do not breathe the fumes in. They are very toxic. And be sure to read all precautions, wear safety gloves, or rubber latex gloves, and uh, enjoy your work. If you have any questions, please rate, comment, sus subscribe below. I will definitely get back to you if there's any inquiries. Now, I am having orders from my family and friends already on uh, making more, so hopefully in the near future, I will make some more and uh, I'll post one more video up on the calcium reactor working on the tank